up a £1 billion deficit in just three months. No wonder, regulators say, NHS England is in its worst financial state for a generation. The watchdog said foundation trusts are under such massive pressure they can't afford to go on as they are. Health chiefs blamed a triple whammy, rising patient demand, staff costs and the unprecedented funding squeeze. As our social affairs editor, Jackie Long, reports. It's a familiar cry, the NHS in crisis. This time, say the regulators, the health service is in its worst financial position in a generation. Hospital trusts drowning in debt. Fighting to meet increased demand, facing spiralling bills for agency staff. The picture from within the NHS is bleak. We know from talking to our members who provide NHS services across the country that uh, this is these are the most challenging times they've faced. 72% describe it as the most difficult environment in which they've worked. So what we've got is an increasing demand from the public for NHS services and the funding isn't keeping track with that demand. The NHS racked up a deficit of almost a billion pounds in the first three months of this year. That's more than the entire overspend for the whole of last year. Three quarters of trusts across England are now in debt. And by the end of 2015, the total overspend is expected to reach £2 billion. Amid the blizzard of big numbers, it's easy to lose sight of what this actually means for patients. Cancer waiting time targets have now been missed by Foundation Trust hospitals for 16 months. The number of patients being left on trolleys is rising. And there are now 1.9 million people on the waiting list for routine operations. The NHS must play its part in delivering efficiencies, the government has warned, with £22 billion worth of savings expected by 2020. But as the debt rises, analysts say the NHS will need much more help if those savings are to be delivered. The NHS has known for a number of years that times are going to be tough and it needs to improve its efficiency, but we still don't have a national plan to do that. And really well-run, internationally renowned hospitals are struggling to make the sums add up. So it's no longer enough to say this is just about some inefficient trust failing? Exactly, and it's not poor leadership in a few cases. This is a system-wide problem which reflects some really long-term and underlying challenges. The Department of Health said today they accepted finances were challenging for some parts of the NHS. They point to the £8 billion promised by the end of this Parliament. But for those within the health service who say that money is needed now, there's likely to be disappointment. The spokesman for the Department of Health said we expect trusts to get a grip on their finances and operate within the budget they've been given. The department also said today it expected the situation to be better later in the year. On today's figures, it has a long way to go. A Scottish nurse who...